Hi everyone and welcome to Triple M Adventures with Bill. This video is to show you how to set up timers on your Jumper T16 using OpenTX. There are quite a few options that you can choose and I will go through them and explain to you what they do. I've already opened up OpenTX Companion on my computer so let's switch over to the computer. Let's go and open up, as usual, my pre the latest backup. And there we go, we've got YouTube number four. Let's open up that model. And your timers, we, we can have three timers. I normally only use one. And the timers, I think on quads, you wouldn't, generally speaking, I suppose, use them because you have all the RSSI data coming back. So you don't need to time your flights. But I think mostly these would be used on fixed wings. Okay. So we've got timer one. I don't normally name the timer. Then we set up the time. Now for this video, I've done it to 10 seconds. We have then three options on the timer. I think the timer option S would be useful for electric planes. So if you had a big glider and you're flying this, you climb and then you glide, the, obviously the timer will stop. So that allows you to have a longer flight time. Okay, the next option is percentage. Now I'm not 100% sure what I would use this for, but basically what happens is when you put the throttle, say to a uh, quarter throttle, the time will go slower. If you go to full throttle, the timer will work the full 10 seconds and you'll see it count down in 10 seconds. In a moment, we're going to, I'm going to show you on the computer what happens with these separate timers. Okay, the next one we've got, option we've got, is THT. Now this one I would say is for gas powered motors, uh, planes, because when you start the throttle, if you pull the throttle back onto idle, it will carry on running. The timer will carry on counting down because obviously your gas model will carry on drawing fuel from the tank when it's on tick over. I'm going to set up the first timer option, the THS one. Now we can look at the countdown. On the countdown, we have silent, which is obvious. Then we've got beeps, which obviously beeps. The voice will do a minute countdown. So two minutes, one minute, and then from 10 seconds. Or haptic, which will be just a vibration. We can then select the minute call here. And then we've got the persistent, which I am going to go into in a bit more detail. Now, on the persistent, which is normally, I think, default off, when you stop the flight and drop the throttle and you've landed your model, if there are still a few seconds left to run or a few minutes to run, if you turn off your radio and turn it back on, then the timer automatically resets. Also, when the persistent is off, if you are in your main menu of your model and you push the scroll button, you will come up with a reset option. If you click reset, both the options of reset flight and reset timer one will reset the timer. Now we're going to choose the persistent flight option. Now in the flight option, if you choose this option and you then land your model and then turn off your radio and when you turn it back on again, if you still had two minutes left, the timer will still show two minutes. The same options apply. If you go to main menu in your model and then click the scroll button, the reset for both flight and timer one will reset the timer. The next options we can choose for the timer is persistent manual reset. With this option, when you turn the radio off, if you had four minutes left on your timer, when you turn the radio back on, the timer will still show that time. Also, if you go into the main menu of your model and then click reset, what will, if you use the flight option, the timer will not reset. If you use the timer one option to reset, it will reset. Now let's switch over to the computer to show you the timers in action. Okay, we set up it for 10 seconds. We're on the stop option and we're just gonna keep silent because I've explained those in minute count. So we're gonna simulate. Okay, if we are now in the uh, throttle stop, so if we raise the throttle, the timer starts counting down. If I pull the timer down, 
it will stop. Now, as I said earlier, I think this is actually better for uh, electric motors so that you can, if you're flying a glider, you would count down the actual usage of the battery. To reset the timer, I've set it up to a switch to reset. So that resets. Okay, close that down. Let's go and change the timer now to the percentage. And let's simulate that one. And this, I say, this one is a little bit strange. I, I'm not sure what, what you would use this for, but it's an option. Now you'll see what happens when I pull the throttle up part way. You see, nothing appears to be happening. But if we wait long enough, the timer will start counting down. There we go, one second. If we pull up halfway, it should count down slightly quicker. There we go. And if we go full bore, it seems to do one every second. Now we need to look at the last timer, which is the T option. So change the option to T and we're going to simulate the radio. And you'll see here now, we're showing, still showing the 10 seconds. And as soon as I pull the throttle up, we'll start counting down. If I pull the throttle down, it won't stop. So it will be continuous. I think this will be, I think this will be better for gas models. Okay, that's the three options that you can use. Let's now take a look at the persistent settings. The first one we're going to choose is the persistent off. No persistent. If we simulate and then we raise the throttle, we're in the throttle stop mode and we pull the throttle back. You see we stopped at five seconds. Now let's simulate turning off the radio, which means closing down the model. Reopen the model and the timer should have reset. There we go, it's reset. In both the persistent flight and persistent manual reset, the timer will be retained if you turn the model off. So let's simulate that. We're going to keep the timer setting at stop. Then we're going to persistent and we're going to choose flight. Now, if we go and simulate the flight, let's just reset the timer. Reset. There we go. Start the timer. Stop the timer. Let's simulate closing the model. Reopen the model. Go to simulation. And it's retained the time there. Now the next option that OpenTX has is to reset the flight and reset timers in the main menu of your model, which I'm going to show you to do. But because most of us would set our timers up to reset on a switch, you wouldn't, I don't think I would ever use this, but I'm going to show you it so you can see how to do this. So let's switch back to the computer. Now we need to go to the main menu of our radio. And if we hold down the scroll button, this option will come up. And we go down to reset. And you'll see there we can say reset flight or reset timer. Now the options I gave you earlier will be available depending on which persistent type of option you use. As I previously said, I'm not sure what the benefit of those options would be because most of us would set a timer up on a switch. Thanks for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really enjoyed it, please subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends. And if you have any comments, please leave them in the comments section below because I would love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now. Disarm motor.